Greetings, Skyfarers, and welcome to another episode of Sunless Skies and Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, uh, well, we're back in um, the well-trodden lands of the Reach, places that we understand, places where we know where to go to get things done. And yeah, that last episode was quite a trial, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we managed to get through it. We only died twice, I think. Maybe three times. Um, but we're back. So, trying to figure out what to do now. And I gotta say, uh, for the most part, these are not things that are in the Reach anymore. We've finished many of the things that are in the Reach. Not sure what we're supposed to be doing with this Mr. Menagerie's last voyage. Okay, so, let's just go through these. Looking for anti-deceased status in the Blue Kingdom. That is in the Blue Kingdom. We don't want to go back there right now. It totally kicked our asses. Uh, same with Far From Their Ruined Homes. Minor sect of 13th Psalmists have been causing trouble in New Winchester. You've dropped them off at the, uh, you've dropped off the Psalmists at Wellmouth. Uh, perhaps you should return uh, later once the church is built. They did say a week. It's going to be a lot longer than that because we are not ready to go back to the Blue Kingdom. As I said before, it totally kicked our ass. Uh, Mr. Menagerie's last voyage. Mr. Menagerie is wandering the high wilderness, selling scouts to passing captains. Mr. Menagerie has left uh, Palmier Plenty's inconceivable circus. Now, where did he go? He went to the, um... He went to Port Avon. So we know about that. Um, this doesn't really... It's weird that this is a quest. Because there's no real action item here. It's just a traveling shop. Um, I don't know, maybe later on we're, we'll pick up something where we're, we're supposed to go and find Mr. Menagerie, but whatever. Tackety's answer, once again. Um, it seems like they're trying to make their own uh, better, more improved warships to fight against the new Imperial warships and uh, the Monitor-class warships. And... Um, it seems like it's inevitable. I mean, we can try to delay them as much as we we want, but it's going to happen sooner or later. I don't really see a huge advantage in sticking around and just trying to constantly sabotage their stuff. Always having to go down to, uh, what are the name of that place? Is Lustrum. Alright, so, but at least these two are both uh, quests that are in the reach. So then we have the Sequencer's Charity. Dazzled Sequencer has enlisted you as an attempt to the kindness upon uh, Brabazon that is in London. Work orders is in London. Election called is in London. Politics and Navish Tricks is in London. Learning about the uh, Chiro Chiropterous Hoarder, uh, a massive, sawcloosed, persnickety bat in red. The uh, uh, Chirop Chiropterous Hoarder joined your crew. Speak to them ab aboard your engine. That's something we can do now, so we'll probably do that just to figure out what is going on with that. Entering the Regent's Grave. That is also in the Reach, but it takes a year, and I believe it's done on April 10th. Hunt for Hybris. Uh, you are on the trail of the missing colonists of Hybris. Mademoiselle Lumiere has told you to look out for a fungus tower on Hybris. That we can do. We have the Initiate of Carillon, we can do. We have the Sanction by the Company, we can do. We have the Assumed Identity, we can do. This we're always doing anyway. This I, I suppose we're always doing anyway also. Tweet Jane's Request, we can... We're not interested in doing. I really wish that there was some way we could get it out of our list. And then Ambition the Truth. So, we are running out of stuff to do in the Reach. And then, um... Then I guess we should probably move on to London. Um, but if one thing is, if one, if there's one indication of something that we should probably be uh, taking into account, it is that our ship is way too slow. Um, we will encounter beasties later on that are just totally going to run us down and kick our asses. Uh, so the question is, should we get the Brit, the Britomart? Or 
Wow, it's heavier. Shoot. Oh, crap. What do I do? I don't like having more fuel consumption, especially when it's twice as much fuel consumption compared to the new speed. Also, if, if it's heavier, it's going to be hauling more. What does weight actually do in this game? Hmm. Alright, what do I have in our ship? So we have a spot for... I suppose we could improve our engine. You have a very simple acing device. We could add armor plating that's going to add weight. Jeez. I don't know if this is really worth the benefit. For 15% more speed, we'll get 30% more fuel consumption. Jeez. Alright, um... Well, I'm wasting time here, so let us... Uh, let's go back to our list of possible things to do. I think that the first thing we're going to do is talk to the Corruptor Sorter. Then I think we should probably go down to Carillon, wherever that is, there it is, and start that quest going. I do not like the fact that our souls are so... our soul is so damaged. Um, when we were in the Blue Kingdom, I was a little bit afraid that because um, we are a bit damaged that if for some reason we like ate the food or whatever and we couldn't come back we would be judged for having a dirty poison soul so it might be good to go there and get that worked out and at the same time we'll that'll put us near titania we can try to get the uh, uh, the titanian pedal and maybe we'll run into a cantankeri along the along the way. I was just thinking maybe we should try to pick a fight with a cantankeri, because that the titanium pedal would be the last thing that we need. But we can always pick a fight with one when we go to the next time we go to Magdalene's and do the assumed identity thing at the same time. All right, so let us uh, let's go to Victoria Market. We'll pick up a couple more supplies. Uh, fuel's almost out. That's all right. We can let the fuel go out. Let's get rid of these indistinguished souls. Oh, actually, let us uh, let's go to the bazaar first. Hours for the circus ringmaster. Wanted five barrels of unseasoned hours. Well, we're definitely going to go to Lead Beater and Stain Rods, so. So they both want five, huh? This one says just hours, and this one says unseasoned hours. slots we have? Oh, plenty. Watch it up to five barrels of unseasoned hours. Deliver to the ringmaster, Polmere, and Plenty's Inconceivable Circus. The Reach. Inconceivable Circus lies to the east-northeast of Win New Winchester. Hours can be reliably purchased at Pro Port Prosper and Lustrum and mined from the Skyrocks of the Reach. Hours for the lead beater and stain rods nature reserve, Captain Required to supply up to five barrels of hours to the lead reader and stain rod uh, nature reserve. Please report to capabilities cabins on arrival and discretion prioritize. Uh, LNS uh, nature reserve lies to the, to the southeast of New Winchester. Hours. Okay, once again, same. Oh, I thought I was going to sell some stuff to. Gee, can I just click this now? Um, actually, maybe I should explore the city while we're here. 
Nah, there's nothing in there. Let us... Actually, let's check the bank really quick and see how what how, what we have for our season hours. We have a bunch of... Let's just stash these souls, I suppose. And we need... Yeah, we're not gonna go... We're not gonna go straight to the, uh... Uh... To lead beater and stain rods, right? So... There's really no reason to bring us... To bring it with us. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna head down to Kurillan. Free for a moment there, setting the stopwatch on my phone. Some of these episodes got way too long, and that'll give me a good sense of how long it's been. Keeping track of it. Pick up some crew, too. Yeah, so for engines, I'm kind of thinking about doing something like, um... Th there were a couple engines that have, like, a boost speed. Maybe that's something we should look into. When those snappy Soul Eater things are coming after you, I mean, maybe it's good to just... It, it would be one more way in which we can dodge, because right now we're a little bit limited. You can dodge left or right. But if it's if something is coming f to you from the uh, to coming at you from the left or the right, there's really no way to dodge it. I mean, the way to dodge it would be to go forward or backward. But our ability to change speed forward and backward is very limited. There's no dodge forward. Yeah, maybe, I'm thinking that maybe, um, actually, do we need souls to come down here? We might be a bit screwed on this mission, so now that I think about it, we might need souls, that might be the currency that they use here. Oof. Did that hit up? Did that hurt us? It did. Ah, crap. What is this? Alright, before we do anything, let us... Let's write a report. Um, that looks the same. Let us check out this overgrown shrine. The path leads you to a broken statue, seemingly ignored by the devils of Kirillin, except for whoever placed the freshly lit candles at its feet. Uh, the face is poorly carved, but its features unmistakable. The burrower below stands at you through one gemstone eye and an empty socket. You can steal an offering from the from the burrower, burrower below. The devils have placed a few trinkets at its feet. It's probably not a good idea. Or could contemplate the statue. A terrifying visage. Uh, but with something comforting to offer, too. Seems like the safer option. Let's see what it does. Really? Looking at a 
horrible elder god made our tire fall, huh? Well, a little weird. Anyway, finding the peace. While the statue is the raw material of nightmares, see? <laughs> There's something soothing about the idea that even a beast like this might be harnessed. We can harness it? I don't the feeling that's not the case. <laughs> There's a chance of such an ally for those who crack the code of offering some prayer. Whether it is actually listening, it is impossible to tell. The thought that it might, uh, the thought that it even might, however, uh, is something to hold on to in the dark. I think it's terrifying. All right, they're not gonna let us explore around. Let's go visit to the presiding devilus. We've read this before. <sighs> All right, let's listen to the proposal. Welcome, patient. Listen, she says, you're free to you to make use of Kirillin. Take the penance or two. Alter your soul. I think you'll find our services very imaginative. There is another matter I hope you'll look into. A devil in rose-colored gloves. He used to supervise the Gaslight Terrace. He was removed from that position, but I fear he may still be not... Wait. I fear he may still not be entirely aligned with the objectives of Corillon. If you find out anything about him... Anything to his disadvantage. She looks grim. Bring me the evidence and I will reward you. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at... Um, hmm. Let's return to the center of Corillon. We've read that before. Let's get out of here. Let's see if it'll last travel now. Okay. Travel around Carillon. Carillon is broken into terraces where most of the soul treatments take place. Uh, some are easier to access than others. You can visit the Gaslit Terrace. Dozens of newcomers walk in that direction. Must be a safe choice. Penance. Enlightenment can be gained here. We can try to enter the Bell Garden. The scent is rocky. The sound of chimes is audible all the way down here. Penance. Deprivation can be gained here. Visit the Checkerboard Garden. That uh, is reached by a flight of wrong-sized steps. The risers too steep and the flats too narrow. Penance shift of perspective can be gained here. Alright, uh, it's a shift of perspective. We have the visit the stunted grove, the center of Carillon, a half height grove of black thorns bushes. Penance ordeal can be gained here. Okay. It's a lot here. You visit the Garden of Insatiable Roses. Only penitents with stained souls may visit the Garden of Insatiable Roses. Penance uh, excess can be gained here. You need a stained soul to be admitted. You visit the Sand Garden. Uh, it descends into a tunnel. Carved over the mouth of the tunnel are the symbols of death. A skull, a flail, a fly on its back. Penance endurance can be gained here. You need a clear soul to be admitted. Is there some place I can look at my soul? You visit the terrace of glass statues. The path is, is a mirrored labyrinth. Entry is forbidden to those who are not already afflicted with a flickering soul. 
independent, inescapable truth can be gained here. You need a flickering soul to be admitted. I have no idea what that means. Alright, well. This guy's supposed to be at the Gaslit Terrace, so let's go there. In a flow of ordinary folk, your companions are, are a lady in a button cloak and a young male student. They talk amongst themselves with seasonable warmth. Uh, and about how the yellowish glow of the lamps does not show blue silk in best effect. Their words are commonplace, their hands folded and gloved, their opinions supplied by a respectable gazette. You've almost forgotten them, even while you are still walking together. The path descends by shallow steps uh, to a broad terrace, as crowded as the Imperial Exhibition. Uh, gas, gaslight lampposts are scattered irregularly across the flagstone terrace. Uh, between them are stations, each containing a patient receiving a treatment. The supervising devils tend these stations, stopping first here, then there, like bees on a flower. We could gain the penance of enlightenment, vision, imagination, the ability to see beyond the nearest convention. That's what the devils are trying to evoke here. Decent chance. We can approach the spineless curate. He sits in stocks, attended by a devilish orderly. Is that what we're supposed to do? Is that the devil that we're looking for? Or we could return to the center of Carillon. No one else is climbing the staircase. Traffic is all towards the terrace. Or it could cure our lightless soul. Okay. Uh, perhaps you have fallen into habits. Perhaps you haven't stretched your imagination lately. I wonder if we could get a penance because it seems that we're already lightless. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, we can't look. Um, I wanted to see if it came up in our inventory that we're lightless. Like, maybe there's a section for soul. Let's approach the spineless curate. At the nearest station, a curate has been shackled into an ordinary pillory. Meet the spineless curate, or we could leave leave him to his penance. He's a long way from cured. Or his eyes beseech you to visit him. Let's try it. You step closer. I've seen something. In this light, it's hard not to see things. A devilish orderly jabs the curate with a needle. Oof. At the sight of the jab, the curate's skin goes lavender. Oof. I'm being treated for not believing in God. I've tried everything. Prayer, fasting, long weekends with a professional saint. Professional saint, okay. None of it worked. My sermons are suffering. My bishop complained. And has it helped? I have dreams of snakes and angels, he says. It hasn't made me a mystic. I don't think the devils are real either. Just men with funny eyes, aren't they? The devilish orderly smiles with extra teeth. Jeez. Okay. I think that they're real. I mean, he's got extra teeth and crazy eyes. I suppose it could be a modification of some sort, but it's like... You know, this is... Uh, this game is supposed to take place in, what, like the early 20th century? I don't know if they have that kind of... Uh, uh, cosmetic surgery at that time. Alright, so it uh, looks like we are going to... doesn't look like we can do anything about it. So we have we need a shift of perspective enlightenment or enlightenment 5. Um, so at the nearest station the curate has been shackled to an ordinary pillory. We leave him to his penance. He's a long way from cured. We can pay the, the curate's price. His penance can be paid by someone other than himself. Or he can pay an alternate currency. The curate uh, will hardly care how his rescue is achieved. Yes, but the devils might care. So maybe we do need the shift in perspective. And an enlightenment. 
Besides, getting two of these, is that going to be more difficult than getting five? Hard to say. Uh, but we need penance, right? Where do we get penance? Was it penance? I thought it was penance. Or was it perspective? No, shift of perspective was that fiery thing. I have no idea how to get penance. Um, how well do you know the place of penance? Curate in the Gaslight Terrace needs freeing. Let's go back to the Gaslight Terrace. Maybe I'm missing something. No, actually, this might gain penance. Yes, it does. Vision, imagination, the ability to see beyond the nearest convention. That's what the devils are trying to evoke here. Boo. What do we got? We got terror. Unendurable. A chinless matriarch dislikes physical labor, mental exertion, social activities, and any other occupation that might cause anxiety. The devils disapprove. To repair these defects, she's been dressed in the historical armor of the Third City. As for your punishment, it does not bear speaking of. You don't have the stamina to wait it out. So we have some extra terror. Let's try it again. Penance paid. A persistent plagiarist has been known to yawn at the opera. Until he overcomes these flaws, he has been dressed in the signature paisley of the worshipful company of vermin exterminators. Do you feel any more interesting now? The, supervi the supervising devil asks. As for your punishment, it does not bear speaking of. The experience leaves your throat parched. I want to know what I was... what they did to me. Now we can try to cure our lightless soul at this point. Uh, let's step back. I really want to see if it comes up in our inventory. Oh, what is this? Return to Curlin Center. No, okay. We brush past a matron in gray boots, a train conductor in his uniform, and a young boy who has already adopted the expression of a fixed and new eye. I still, I will really want to know how to pronounce that. None of them makes your acquaintances as you go by. No one shows any interest in your breaking this convention. Wait, I'm breaking a convention? How? Oh. oh, just because I'm going in the opposite direction of everybody else? Okay. Um, uh, now we also need... Uh... Shift in perspective. Not a long journey. But by the time you come out on the plane with the checkerboard, your calves your calves are hurting. Devils are playing tricolor chess uh, with some of the patients. White pieces, red pieces, col uh, pieces the color of a flourishing wind. Around the edges of the board sit the patients who have already been captured, or who were never part of the game to begin with. You can game penance of a shift of perspective. Those who name drop, who aim too high, who spend too much time in low company, who do not know their place, they wind up here. Or we could cure our curdled soul. Envy, frustration, tendency to begrudge honors given to others. These are reasonable responses, aren't they? But this is what the devil offers to cure. Or you could consider the rubbery man. He stands at the edge of the board, ignored by the other players. Or you could return to the center of Carillon. Well, we're here for a shift in perspective. I really don't like the idea of having a curdled soul either. Curdled is gross. <laughs> um, 
wondering if we should just spend our penance on that. But I really want to see what our... Like, if the soul is listed in our inventory. So let's consider the rubbery man first. No one has dressed him for the chess game. Or let him on the board. Speak with the rubbery man. He stands off to one side. Tentacles squirming. Alright. Leave the rubbery man alone. Perhaps this game of chess is a better diversion. Writhing introductions. He's surprised that you approach him. He moves to make room for you, in case you are merely trying to occupy his space. When you speak to him, he offers you a squishy handshake. <laughs> By various signals, gestures, and directions of his eyes, he indicates that he has come here looking for a place in the world. Assisting a rubbery penitent. You've met a rubbery penitent. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so we can, um, we can ask the rubbery man about the devil with the rose-colored gloves, and then hope that he can understand, or that you can understand the answer. Or we can leave the rubbery man alone. Perhaps the game of chess is a better diversion. Or we could do a redemption of the rubbery man, which we can't right now. Conversion requires a change of understanding, and, uh... Alteration, okay. An alteration of state and sudden... Wait. Alteration of state, both sudden and permanent. Or we could do the elevation of the rubbery band. What would such a person need? Perhaps understanding cut with ambition? Let's ask him about the man with the rose-colored gloves. The devil with the rose-colored gloves. Startling. The rubbery man holds up one tentacle, representing the devil in the rose colored gloves. He then holds another tentacle. After a moment, he twists the two together. The tentacles are meant to be kissing. Uh, is that what that is? You look blank. The rubbery man repeats the pantomime several times. Perhaps the devil has a lover. Perhaps the devil loves the rubbery man. Perhaps the devil enjoys exotic forms of dance. Give it one more try, see if it changes. It does not. Leave the rubbery man alone. We should go for a shift of perspective. All you have to do is wait. The Red Queen climbed, uh, claimed to be the bastard offspring of a devil. For the penitent's own good, she has locked tongue to prevent so much as speaking the name of a superior. The supervising devil is distracted by the play on the chessboard. As for your punishment, it does not bear speaking of. The experience leaves your throat parched. Trying to see if there's any hidden meaning in there that I can pick up. Shouts behind you. The White Queen is captured just as you go. There's no time to look back. The match in progress. Now let's go to the Gaslit Terrace. We do have what we need to um, free this guy. The Spineless Curate. We will pay the Curate's prize. His penance can be paid by someone other than himself. And we have a, one enlightenment, one shift of perspective. What is this? And, yeah, we have the mission. Relief. That's better, he says, rolling his sleeve to uh, cover the place where the needle went in. I have a warning for you. Meet me in the Bell Garden. It's harder for them to overhear us there. Don't follow me right away. 
wouldn't do for them to see us together. Who's them? Then he strolls off. Is that all? Is that what he calls gratitude? Have you been duped completely? Oh, yeah, excuse me. Ugh, it's late here. I'm tired. Alright. It remains to be seen whether he will be in the bell garden after all. Curry awaits in the bell garden. Okay. Um, I really want to cure our lightless soul, but I want to go back and... Let's return to the center of Corellum. I, I want to see if we can see the state of our soul. Soul. Okay, cold. The soul is icy to the touch. Dispassionate clinical. Removed. The presiding devil is... Uh, the Corellum Compendium. We have lightless, slothful, viceful, uh, viceful, willful abandonment of talent and interest. Doesn't sound so good. And we have curdled, overly willing to please, envious, obsequious. Are those chunks in the soul? Gross. Gross. Uh, let's go to the checkerboard. I want to get rid of that curdledness. That's disgusting. Hopefully, if we fail this, it'll just give us terror. We didn't fail. The flourishing king endlessly told uh, the anecdote about once having met a captivating princess. Until the penitent recovers from his inclination, he, he is doing vigorous exercises in a sweaty room. The supervising devil is distracted by the play on the chessboard. Okay. Let's get rid of this curdle. Envy, frustration, a tendency to begrudge honors given to others. These are reasonable responses, aren't they? Uh, but this is what the devil offers to cure. An improvement. There are still a few flaws in your soul. But matters are improving. The devils of Krillin claim to be experts in the assessment and improvement of the soul. They would describe yours as tantalizingly opaque and rich with personality. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. 500 experience and two sandwich secrets. Probably worth it. I mean, we just clicked a few buttons. Got a bunch of experience. We got we improved our soul. Man, good stuff. I wonder if we have to refresh this. Oh, gone. Um. Yeah, let's go back and check it again. Sometimes a momentary flash is all it takes uh, to change a naive soul. Interesting. And, um, yeah. Gain this at the checkerboard garden in Carillon. the gaslit terrace. Let's try to do the same for our our um, coldness or whatever it was. A banker inherited a particular or peculiar mansion from an uncle, but has never bothered to visit the estate. For the penitent's own good, he has been exposed to a disease that causes intense fevers and wicked dreams. Do you feel any more interesting now? Asks the supervising devil. Whoa. As for punishment, uh, it does not bear speaking of. For a month afterward, you see devils dancing in the corner of your eyes. Jeez, that sounds awful. Perhaps you've fallen into habits. Perhaps you haven't stretched your imagination lately. Alright. Your soul is in nearly good condition now. 
500 more experience. We got Vision of Heaven, Bunch of Gossip, and Tantalizing Lily Hope Hake and Rich with Personality. I love that. Um, Alright. Um, what do we have mission wise? Bell Garden. Where do we get into the Bell Garden? There's the Sand Garden. Bell Garden, here we go. Turned back. You put your foot on the first step. The devil blocks you. Those who enter the Bell Garden must be in a proper state of hygiene, madame. He says. You wouldn't want to make things worse for the poor sufferers. He washes his hands in the fountain. S uh, stopping, you must have... Wait. Stopping, you must have eaten grubby work. You're turned away for impurity. Okay. How do I cure my impurity? I suppose we should... It's... By the fact that it's putting us here... It sort of implies that we should be going to the presiding devilish, right? <sighs> well, I have no idea how to get purity. Deal, shift in perspective, deprivation, enlightenment. Form a ritual purification to enable entrance to the Bell Garden. Those who wish to enter the Bell Garden must first undergo uh, lustrations and prayers. Okay, here we go. Intense deprivation can be gained at the Bell Garden, and we have an 80% chance of success. Fountains, pebbles, shoes. First, you remove your shoes. You wash your face from the fountain of fresh water and your feet in the basin of salt water. Walk across the patch of white sand, throwing a pebble over your left shoulder to baffle any ill-omened thing that might be following you. Then sleep in a hammock or on a private balcony where only other penitents may enter. When you wake up, eat a plain white bread biscuit with salt crust after this, you will be ready. Right? My brain entered bi added biscuit onto that because I've been reading a book that is supposed to be all oldie timey British and they eat a lot of biscuits. After white bread, the word biscuit just seems to fall in my mind. All right, let's uh, let's visit the Bell Garden. The stairs lead up to the highest and coldest point of Carilla. Bells ring louder as you climb. The music is mathematical and exact. Each note sounds for exactly the same length of time, the same duration that is required to ascend one step. No one passes anyone else on these stairs. Okay. In a tower, over the bell garden, twelve devils ring a change of twelve bells. The full peal will take eleven thousand days to complete, without intermission. From time to time, one devil relieves another, stepping in during the half minute when that particular bell is at rest. There are no errors. This mathematical music can be heard everywhere in Carillon. But it is loudest here. Impurity and imprecision are not welcome. 
we can gain a penance of deprivation, austerity, absence, and the lack. These are the devil-recommended treatments for those who live within the sound of the bells. That's pretty bad. Um, we could approach the penitent nurse. She huddles it in the corner, her face trapped into a grimace. We could have a conversation with the spineless curate. He's willing to talk to you here, but under the cover of the constant bell ringing. No one else will hear. Or I could return to the center of Carillon. Try not to sprain anything. The stairs down are more terrifying than the stairs up. Or we could cure your fermented soul. Perhaps you have eaten that which you should not. Perhaps you've come in contact with something unclean. At any rate, your soul has gone a bit off. Yeah, when was I fermented? I thought... I don't remember that being of the things, but maybe it is. Alright, um... Hmm. This is really low chance. Let's do the nurse first and see what happens. She's huddled in the corner with cotton stuffed into her ears. Attempt to communicate with her. It's too loud to speak, certainly. We can let the, let the nurse be. She's had enough to tolerate as it is. You communicate in writing. She has been within the sound of the bell for 40 days. The clangor is starting to disrupt her mind. She begs you to help her. And out of your kindness, pay part of her penance for her. She would do the same for you. She is a very kind and forgiving soul. To convince you of this point, she scribbles down assurances, compliments, and a sketch of herself uh, ministering to a leprous child. We could assist the penitent nurse. You're helping the nurse with her penance. Or we could ask the nurse about the devil with the rose colored gloves. Has he passed this way? Does he like bell music? Or we could let the nurse be. She has enough to tolerate as it is. Frenzy. She shakes her head in distress. The words she scribbles for you are, if you can read her handwriting, seen the kind before, had them in the hospital sometimes. You can't get anything clear out of her. Alright, let us um, talk to the curate. His lips to your ear. This is the best garden, he says. Everything orderly. No one dressed in pheasant outfits or waltzing backwards. But here's what I wanted to tell you. Watch out for the tall devil with the rose-colored gloves. He is embezzling the property. And the curate makes a curious gesture with one hand as though he were winding noodles around a fork. When you look blank, he says, Spirifrage. 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 He's taking souls from the patients in secret before the presiding devil has a chance at them. I'm afraid he's going to get at me before I've finished my term. Hmm. All right, we have to go to Carillon Center. 144 steps. 12, change, 12 changes of 12 bells before you reach the bottom again. No one is on the staircase. The penitents, penitents, uh, look up curiously when you arrive back at the center of Carilla. I don't know 
what to do now. Um. I would have thought that there would have been something about a sparrow fur here. I do not see anything. And the only place we haven't gone is the Sunted Grove, right? There's no real gate. But not much of a wall either. There's only a low stone barrier. Perhaps a foot tall. Easy to step over. The thorn bushes grow thorns an inch or more long. Jeez. Long. There are paths between them, but it is hard to pass without tearing one's clothes. The devils who work here have scratches on their forearms, though they do not seem to mind. There's not a single comfortable place to sit. Take the penitence of our ordeal. Not a great chance. Punishments here are particularly physical in nature. Or we could sit, uh, we could approach a professional penitent. Penitent. She is seated on a stool, eating vast quantities of sorbet. <laughs> uh, we could return to the center of Carillon. You can see it from here. Or we could cure our cold soul. Indifference to love can be corrected, but not easily. You need three penance. We can get penance really easily from the other place over there. That might be worth doing. The wall is lower from this side. Was it lower from the other side too? Doesn't say. Just says there's no real gate. It is even easier to leave than to enter, because the ground is uneven. to do here. It did say that we can return to the devil is. I just wonder if that's going to short circuit our mission. I feel like we probably should just figure it out on our own. Not return to the devil is. But I don't know. I don't know what that will result in. All right, well, um, hmm. Oh. You can blackmail the spare for even what you know. I don't really want to blackmail him, though. We could go and speak to the presiding devilist, of course. I really don't know what to do here, and to be perfectly honest, my brain's a little bit shut. I feel like maybe I should wrap up this episode and go to bed. Because I don't think I'm going to be making a good decision here. So, I guess we'll have to we'll have to sleep on it and decide what I want to do. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe subscribe. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.